When 9-11 hit, I was sitting at home watching it on the news just like most Americans. And when TSA came into effect, I thought that this was a good opportunity to give back to my country and show support for my country. I always wanted to somehow help people and make a difference. Just knowing that I'm potentially protecting someone from something tragic happening, that keeps me going every day. I came with TSO because I wanted to make a difference, putting this uniform on, knowing I can make a difference and keep my fellow Americans safe. I see my job as more than just a job. I am protecting the traveling public. I am helping them. Dedication, determination, safety, and security. Since shortly after that fateful day in 2001, the men and women of the Transportation Security Administration have been standing together and keeping America's transportation systems safe. But the threat continues today. Since the events of 9-11, terrorists have made multiple attempts to bring down aircraft, including the shoe bomber and the liquid bomb plot. We have also seen a number of international terrorist attacks against the transportation sector, such as the Brussels and Istanbul airport bombings. The threat is real, and as a transportation security officer, you will perform security functions related to the screening of people and property at airports. When you're on the checkpoint, you could run the x-ray, you could do bag checks, you could do pat-downs. You're checking boarding passes and IDs. You're telling people what to take out of their bags, what to take off, what to keep on. To work as a TSO, you deal with passengers day to day. You deal with people that are not happy. You deal with people that are really happy. And you deal with people that appreciate the work that we do. They're nervous. They're not sure what to expect when they arrive or even what to do. We do deal with a lot of people who don't like to be touched. So you do have to deal with the negative attitudes behind that as well. I mean, no one really wants to be touched, especially in those specific private or sensitive areas. Every day there's usually something going on where you're going to have to pat someone down and you can run into people who really don't like to be touched. So you just have to really communicate to them. TSA's mission is not just about screening passengers as they enter the airport. It's so much more. TSA moves quickly to stay ahead of emerging threats. We are at our core a counter-terrorism organization. And our nation's airports are protected by multiple layers of security, the checkpoint being only the most visible to the traveling public. Behind the scenes, check baggage is seamlessly passed through sophisticated x-ray equipment, and TSOs hand-check suspect bags. We also have canine teams working diligently to search passengers and bags for prohibited items. Security is our number one focus, and TSOs strive to move passengers efficiently and effectively through the checkpoint. And a TSO must be prepared to handle a variety of situations and daily challenges. Some people just come through and they're having a bad day or a rough time with their kids and are frustrated, and they'll take it out on you because you're the first person they come in contact with. Okay. It's not personal. They may just be having a bad day. Sometimes it gets hard, and as a TSO, you still have to be professional. I think the public forgets why we're here. I want them to remember that we're here and we have a, a job to do. And it's a serious job to do. Uh, I thought this job was going to be uh, a lot easier than uh, I'd ever dreamed. It's physically challenging. You're on your feet most of your eight hours. You are constantly lifting heavy things. You're bending over. It's hard work. You're constantly on your feet, always moving around, and you have to stay focused. To ensure TSA's mission is carried out effectively, TSOs report for duty at all times throughout the day, which are often times outside of normal business operations, early mornings, late evenings, weekends, and holidays, and are not always flexible. As you advance in seniority, you'll experience greater flexibility in shifts and schedules. Also, depending upon operational needs, you may be able to convert between part-time and full-time schedules. I work um, 4 a.m. to 12.30 in the afternoon. It's definitely not natural waking up in the middle of the night, but you get adjusted to it. It's not a job that you can just wake up, roll over out of bed, and just come to work and make it through the day. It's not good enough. You need to have a positive outlook, be ready to work every day, and be dedicated to your job. What does TSA expect of our workforce? Integrity, innovation, team spirit. The job of a TSO is challenging, but it has its rewards. By applying yourself and taking additional training, 
you may find yourself as part of a tactical team or eligible for management positions, which include lead TSO, supervisory TSO, transportation security manager, and a variety of other positions. There are also opportunities for travel and career advancement into other areas of the TSA. There's a lot of growth potential. If you want to get off the checkpoint, you can do things as TSA, as a K-9 officer, an inspector. There's intelligence fields. There's multiple fields that you can move into. So you just kind of pick and choose and see where you want to take your path. That's what I really love about TSA is they have airports anywhere. So if you want to move or transfer, I mean, they definitely make the process very easy. We have over 400 airports and locations where TSA is implemented. And this isn't the only capacity that TSA serves in. Being a part of the federal workforce means stability and good solid benefits, excellent health care, paid vacations and sick leave, and a robust retirement package. If you are starting a career with TSA as a part-time employee, all part-time TSOs receive the same benefit options as full-time employees. The retirement benefits are wonderful here. Working for the federal government, you are part of what they call the TSP or the Thrift Savings Plan. The TSP is a defined contribution program for federal employees for which TSA will make matching contributions of up to 5%. If opportunities for career advancement and the vast array of federal benefits options have you interested in the TSO position, we encourage you to consider applying and beginning the TSO hiring process. With its multiple phases, the TSO hiring process is unlike a standard job application process and requires diligence to complete all of the steps. On average, the process takes several months. The job of a TSO is unique, and protecting our skies requires concentration, vigilance, and a thorough knowledge of our operating procedures. TSA will provide you with extensive training and the tools you'll need to perform your job effectively. There's a lot of training, not just at the beginning, it's a continuous process. We have new procedures and policies that come very quickly. We have to learn them very quickly and apply them out on the floor and on our job. Things happen in the world overnight and we have to be prepared. We have to adjust. Ongoing certification is once a year, which was mandated by Congress. So you have to pass each one of these tests in order to keep your job. TSA's mission is dynamic and challenging continuous professional training and testing to certify proficiency in security operations, help ensure that we never let our guard down. Being a former military person, I would uh, advise uh, former military uh, personnel that this is a, a very challenging job. It's not as easy as you might think it is. There are a lot of moving parts, a lot of complicated situations that you'll find yourself in, but I highly recommend it. There's a good sense of satisfaction at the end of the day that you're doing something to keep the country safe. Qualities that make a good officer would be someone that's adaptable. You have to be patient, friendly, sympathetic. You stand out if you are able to work in a team. This job does not get done unless we're all working together. I think that working for the Department of Homeland Security gives you a good step up and it's, it's an important job. I had a sense of pride when I served in the military and this is a way I can continue to do that as a civilian. I get to do something that's important. My shirt's blue now instead of camo, but I'm still serving the public on a daily basis. And there's a great sense of satisfaction every day. At the end of your ship, you know that the people that got on the planes at your airport are gonna to get to their destination safely. Millions of passengers, hundreds of airports, one mission. The TSO job might not be the right fit for everybody, but it might be a perfect fit for you. It requires integrity, innovation, and team spirit to protect the nation's transportation systems and secure the free movement of people and commerce. If you can see yourself as a TSO and think you can meet TSA's expectations, we encourage you to apply and start the hiring process today. Are you ready for that challenge? If so, then join the TSA team as a transportation security officer. Please apply at tsajobs.tsa.dhs.gov.